Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm an inventor of Aster Specialty. I'm also a cancer survival and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headache, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster Specialty. Right, Anthony, tell me what's going on with your back, what happened? Um, I had gone to a chiropractor saying that uh, I was crooked, so mm -hmm. I, he recommended adjustment treatments, sure. uh, did yeah. the treatments. Mm -hmm. um, as he was, you know, several treatments later, his procedure, one of them, he adjusted my lower back, and mm -hmm. uh, I heard he said, like, oops, and then mm -hmm. kind of rotated my leg, and like mm -hmm. if he dislocated my joint or something, and popped mm -hmm. it back in. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, I've had a, a knot on my lower back, and when mm -hmm. I sit down on a hard surface, Mm -hmm. My legs will tingle, or you know, both of them, yeah, or both. one like it's both. Now it's both. It's to the point where it's so both. as like when you get tingling, do you get tingling in the entire leg or front, back, you know, side? It's all, the entire leg. Like if if I'm losing blood circulation or something okay. down to my okay. my feet, mm -hmm. um, I had thought that was causing all everything, but it's just mm -hmm. a combination of everything. But the back, that's mm -hmm. what happens. I sit down okay. and I lose. I get. Tingling tingling. All the way How down. much tingling from the zero to ten? Ten is emergency room. Um, it's probably at least about a six. Six, six to okay. seven. At and worst. When that happen? This happened probably about, I want to say, a year and a half ago. A year and a half a year ago. Year and a half ago. So this has been going on for a year and a half. Did yes. you have any other treatment for that? Um, we did acupuncture. Acupuncture mm -hmm. is. Uh, uh, he did the needles in the back and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just very temporary relief. Mm -hmm. um, the knot's still there. Okay, you know? so you feel the scar tissue, yeah. and you feel it left or right? It's on left, and then there's a little bit on the right. On the right yeah. side. I think okay. from where I'm compensating, it's kind of developed. Yeah. Do you feel like one leg longer or something yes. like that? You feel like uneven. Uh, on your uneven. Feet. Yes. Okay. So uh, uh, we want to aggravate your symptoms now before the treatment. So you can use that as a way to measure your response to the treatment. So what way, what we can do to aggravate it? Um, <coughs> probably stretch or something. And Just down. moving around. Yeah, uh, moving do around. you feel it sitting now or it's a, right now? Have to yeah. sit on the no, like like sitting here. Like if I stay here, I could start feeling just a little bit of tingly. You a know little what I mean? bit tingly, but yeah. if it's more harder than this, you it, it, it start it quickly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. So we'll have you stand up here, and we're just gonna do some motion, and you tell me how much tingling from zero to ten. So what I have you to do is bend forward. And backward. And we'll have you twist left and right and tell me which one is aggravated. <coughs> that I could feel the left side. Ah, when you twist to the left? Yeah. I'm okay. Left. All right. What about squatting? If I do that, yeah, now I tingle. Oh, so squatting, that's, squatting. that's to start to tingling. Yes, I got to and tingle on that. Okay, well you just did one squat now, yeah. and you start to feel it. Yeah. Because after the treatment, we're, not, we're gonna do 10. Okay. Okay, how much tingling when you did squat? That one right there, that was probably around the five to six range. Five to six, so just one squat. Yeah. Okay, and I want you to walk, and we'll just have you walk and tell me how is the tingling now, and just be aware of your leg lengths, how that feel. Just, be um, just pay attention like your leg lengths. Where I'm going, yeah. yeah. The, the, the right side feels kind of like jacked up yeah, a little like bit. It's jacked up. Okay. You just and have the, a slight limbing. Yeah, the yeah. left side is not too bad. Not too bad. They're just a tingling, just a little bit. So on it's, the a, top it's, left. it's 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 constant tingling now yeah. after this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable on your stomach? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so is it's more on the left or right or both? The on, the, on the left side. Left side. Yeah. So I will have you lie on your stomach over there. Okay. okay. Is it here? Is this the one you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, you feel it? Yep, there's a knot here. Okay, is there another one here? Yep, there's yeah. another one here. Yeah. And I can see, actually, your pelvis is rotated. So it should be like uh, the same level. I know if you can see it here. Can you feel it? I, this I, hand is going up superior, like yep. going up here. It's like this. I'm exaggerating, but it's like this. That's what it looks like. Look here. Can you see it? 
Yeah. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you feel the difference? Yes, I can. So your pelvis is just rotated uh, to the right. Here you go. And when I put my hands here on this, the <coughs> PSIS, I can see this higher. <coughs> it's a... <coughs> I don't know if it's... You will be able to see it from this angle, but from here you can see uh, it's a little bit higher. Okay. So your joint is really out of alignment, okay? Mm -hmm. But instead of mobilizing it and to put it back to place, scientifically, joint never move by itself. Bone, anatomically, you never can move the bones by itself. Mm -hmm. You have to have muscle to move it. You have the soft tissue that dictate the location of the joint. <coughs> it keeps the joint in place. So when you have muscle tightness or scar tissue, that's because the muscle should act like a rubber band when contract and relax. When you have a scar tissue, it's like you have a knot in the rubber band. When you have that, the length of the muscle is decreased significantly. So when that happens, to actually get the joint out of alignment. So it does not make sense to actually to put the joint back to normal alignment because it, as soon as <coughs> you stand up, it's gonna get back to the out of alignment position because the problem is actually not the joint. The problem is a soft tissue that put it out of alignment. So instead of treating the symptoms which actually putting the joint back to normal alignment by joint mobilization, and actually studies showed there's at least six to seven systematic reviews showed that joint mobilization or manipulation does not provide long term. Some study actually shows it does not even have short term effect. So we need to think about the source of the problem. Why the joint out of alignment? Is it scar tissue? Is it fascia restrictions? Uh, is it other issues, inflammation? And that's how we can correct it instead of like treating the symptoms. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna dig in, okay? Go ahead. Make sure it's not painful. Got it. <coughs> you feel the scar tissue here? Yep. So this is the one you're talking about. So in your case, because you said it feel like tingling in the entire leg, that's an indication, certain position because he has a scar tissue here. It actually causes muscle spasm that compress on the artery that go into the, to the lower extremity. So he start to have decrease like, or the nerve that cause tingling sensation in his foot. So, uh, <coughs> so what we try to do is actually releasing or removing that scar tissue that compressing on those nerve or arteries that causing that radiculopathy pain. You can get nerve pain from scar tissue pushing on the nerve. It's not all the time as in the spine from herniating desk, that's the misperception. It's a very common with the scar tissue compressing on the nerve that causing nerve pain. The problem is not a lot of people realize how that could happen, so they stuck of looking in the back only and the vertebra or herniated disc. And actually you can have herniated disc issue if your scar tissue pushing, pushing down on the vertebra or the disc in this direction. That's one of the reasons for having herniated disc. There's other reason, but that's a very common for soft tissue injuries. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Can you see it here? It's like going up like this. So that's a big knot here. Right in here. Yes, he could have nerve issue. If this is pushing too much on the vertebra, displacing the disc, yes, will push on his uh, <coughs> nerve root and that cause pain radiate into his lower extremity. And when he has it on both sides, it compresses the entire vertebra, displaces it more anterior, more forward, so have more symptoms on both sides, not only one side. 
Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can set up for me. We'll drink some water. <coughs> and we'll have you do the same motion again. So before we started, just one squad, you said you had like six or seven out of ten tingling pain? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, try it now. <coughs> and up and tell me how that feels. Yeah, there's <laughs> nothing there. Zero to ten? It's, it's probably at zero. It's okay. zero to one. Let's do ten for me. Let's drink more water before you do 10. Mm. Okay, so initially it was just one squad and you start to feel the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try to do 10 now. But I want you to do me a favor. Suck your belly button in all the time. Okay. Okay. Count, this is the third one, okay? If you're not counting, we're gonna do 200, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be here for a couple of hours. <laughs> Six. And let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, how is that? Do you feel it or it's gone? It's gone. Okay, let's do the twisting, bending forward, backward, just do the whole range of motion. It feels a lot looser. Okay. Arm twisting. Backward and forward and everything. Are you able to aggravate it or just it's fine now? No, it feels it feels a lot better. Mm -hmm. There's no, I don't feel tingly. Okay, we'll have you walk on back and forth and tell me the alignment, like because you were saying you feel like one Pretty one good. of your <laughs> your pelvis jammed up a little bit. Any difference? Yeah, it feels straight. Straight. Okay. Did I do <coughs> mobilization on your back? What was that mean? Did I do any mobilization on your back, cracking your back? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it, it was just a soft muscle. tissue. Like yeah. you were saying, I think the, the rubber band effect with the bone. Yeah, the bone, so. It's going to pull it out of place. You know, it's going to make your feel crooked. Your joint out of alignment, so we should not treat the joint. We should treat the rubber band mm -hmm. pulling it out of alignment. That's treating the source of the problem instead of treating the symptoms. If you treat the symptoms, you can do that forever. It's just bandage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it works. Yeah, awesome. So, well, you had chiropractor, you had it for a year and a half. So, what do you think about the outside treatment just working on for? I definitely months? choose this before yeah. I go back to a chiropractor. Yeah. Because yeah. that, to me, it felt like you messed me up. And mm -hmm. yeah, now I feel normal. I'm, I'm feeling normal, uh, way better. Awesome. That's wow. good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Well, not all the chiropractor, we have a lot of chiropractors taking the class. So, if they focus more on that. Treating the soft tissue, you're treating the source of the problem mm -hmm. instead of just focusing on the joint only. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So we're now doing function training after the treatment. How many squats did you do so far? I'm probably at about 40 now. <laughs> 40 now. Okay, let's do 10 more. So function training and uh, just f after finishing the treatment. So how's that? It's better. It feels a lot better. We did the squatting all the way down to the floor. It will show us how to lift this up uh, the correct way. Good. Or we'll do f just five, ten. Yeah. How that feel? Now we're getting to actually fifty or sixty. Right. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's fantastic. You look good, actually. So we're doing that because you do a lot of lifting, so we want to make sure you're comfortable to do it correctly. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Please subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain and watch real treatment videos. There are over 45 studies that support Aster treatment model. If you are a patient and would like to schedule an appointment or treat yourself at home, check the link below. If you are a healthcare provider and would like to receive Aster training and buy Aster an instrument, check the link below. See you soon!